Ahlan ya shabab, welcome to part 14. In the last part, we added our first page. We added some TypeScript logic, and now it is time to add some uh, HTML structure. So let's start by adding the navbar. Navbar, and uh, now we have some properties to define. Add task type selected. Here we say handle task type, handle task type selected. And our next property we have to define is logo clicked. Here we say equals logo clicked. And that's basically it. Just close it and you should be also, yeah, here it got imported. It's great. Um, yes. So next thing we are going to do is uh, we add our main background. Main background. And yes. And inside the main background, we define the error dialog if we encounter an error. And as you can see, it should all, everything got added here. To the imports. Uh, here we have to define a model value. This is, it. This is the is network error property. And uh, access error. Okay, here we say access error. And close it again. So now we define our task card. Here we define the properties tasks equals tasks. And for the events, we say card clicked, add card clicked equals and a card clicked next event for delete delete clicked open delete dialog next event for edit uh, we navigate to the task update page and we say close it. That's basically it. Then we can define the loading spinner. Is loading and we say is loading. Ah, and we have to, because it's a property, we have to do the colon is loading. And that's basically it. Okay, looks good. Yeah, and delete task we will uh, add later. Uh, okay, okay, okay. We have no styling, you can delete this part in here. But because we have to find some, you know, router stuff in here, task detail view, task update view, we have to add this to our router as well. So open up the router.index.ts .index file. And yes, so let's take a look. Let's take a look. And yeah, we can leave it like this basically. But here, component for smaller projects, you don't need to have here some kind of method call. You just have a property. And then you say just task overview page. And that's basically it. And yeah, we the the, the 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 other routes we'll add later. Okay, this looks good for me. Next part we can what we can do is to start the project. Let's go to p npm dev. Say um yeah, 
start the project. Oh, no, we have to also make sure that the web server is up and running. Uh, just refresh here the page. And now here we just can type also localhost 3000. And yes, as you can see, some things are happening. Dependencies change, reloading. Let's refresh again. And there is, as you can see, we see now some things, but because the, the endpoint is down, we don't see our task. And just wait a second. It, I mean, I will just quickly pause the video and then we'll see when it got loaded. Just see you in a second. So guys, I stopped the video because I had some errors to fix. So first of all, make sure you open, um, make sure you open index.ts from the router file. Make sure you say for path empty, then you use the constant home view for home. And then you say for component colon tasks overview page and props true and that's it for here and here in the task api i had another error uh just wait this is wrong okay uh my main mistake was basically that i didn't know for base url i had to adapt this here there's a property base url and you have to do colon base url uh, yeah, as you can see, I don't know why this is like this and my ID didn't show the error, unfortunately. And then if you start, I mean, it can show you to you. Clear. Now you say P npm dev, start the dev server again. Uh, we'll close 3000, click on the link. It will load. Now it got loaded, you have this in here. And you see here the, the tasks, close task, there is nothing. All tasks, you see only one task. And if you're on close task and you click on the logo icon, you come again to home. You see, 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 see. And just let me just show you one more thing here. If you, if you go right click inspect, uh just the console and then like i don't know iphone se you have it in mo on mobile view on mobile view yes and then you have here close tasks no task as as we said all tasks it's the draw by the way this was the draw what i'm talking about you have create task it's not implemented yet but doing if you're on close task and you click on the home icon you come again to the open tasks and that's basically it for this tutorial so catch me then in the next one i'm sorry for the mistakes i did did not know it and uh, so see you in the next one